Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Okay, sending you ballot buying boxes ahead of you. Ballot buying boxes um, are basically cardboard boxes that Filipinos send home um, from overseas for presents and goods for a family, not missing Christmas time, birthdays, that sort of thing. Big box full of all the stuff. Could be little toys for the, the grandkids or whatever. Could be school books. Could be a TV or computer even. Um, point is, these are paid for by OFWs working hard overseas, keeping the Philippines economy afloat, which is why recently when there was a bit of a problem, um, there's been a bit of a change in the way the Philippines government wants to deal with it, when people started to protest in the street with the immigration uh, customs officials abusing it a bit. But anyway, I'm not getting into that at the moment. But what do you want to put in your ballot buying box? First thing is your essentials. Um, the stuff I put in are normally sauces, like peri-peri sauces, um, chocolates, you know, because they're always good for bartering. Um, Oxo cubes. Um, soaps. You know, because we the pear soap, people love that stuff. Oil of Ule is better quality from the UK. Um, that people love that stuff. Um, what else do I do? Secondhand clothing is oddly enough because if it's if it's branded, <coughs> it's got you know a bit of respect value of some description. Also because it's come from abroad. The important bit it came from abroad. Um, but all in all, you can get everything in there. Power tools. Um, spare parts for a motor. Could be whatever you need. You can get it in there. Um, and people often do. And the reason I have no issue with this is it's for personal use. You already paid the tax in the country it's in. So what's wrong with it? And also a lot of this stuff is not available. I can't get tea um, in the Philippines, the stuff I drink. In Spain I can't get it. It's it's stuff I bring in. I mean, I must have brought... I mean, bear in mind I arrived on Saturday. <coughs> I must have brought about 800 tea bags with me. Um, it's the stuff you survive on. And this is why you send these ballot buying boxes ahead. You send them to your partner... Um, or somebody you can trust to receive your goods but send them because once you're in the Philippines trying to get somebody to do it for you is not easy um, Westerners are lazy are they, everything is putting somebody out I, I find Westerners awkward to be honest <laughs> compared to a lot of other people and I, the average Westerner doesn't want to help somebody else out let's face it if somebody said to you can you Build me a box, uh, get some of this stuff from Mazda, some of it from Tesco's, a bit from Sainsbury's, etc. You're going to go get lost. <laughs> um, so build it yourself. But also, if you can persuade somebody to do it for one of the supermarkets at least, maybe you could get them to send you top ups of your stuff every few months. You know, maybe you want to send a box every three months. So that you keep your supply of tea and everything, and maybe your cans of beer or your cider, uh, stuff that's very hard to get hold of. But that's the importance of the ballot buying box, and it's why you do it ahead of you traveling. Um, you can also find people online that will move this stuff for you, which is why spend a bit of time going, like if you're in California, just type in ballot buying box California. Um, or wherever you are, and you'll find people that will move stuff. LBC move stuff, um, which is a big courier in the Philippines. Um, you need to do this. If you don't, you'll regret it later. I'll tell you that now. And you also pay about the odds. I found, I worked it out that um, on my first boxes, the um, 
soaps alone um, I got for like a three for two and a two for one and all that sort of stuff just ten of the soaps actually paid for the box which meant that everything else was free for travel um, so it doesn't cost that much uh, it's well worth it. thanks for watching